Hi guys. Now we are dealing with the Voges Proskar test, which is a part of Invict test. In 1898, Voges and Proskar characterized the fermentation of sugars by various bacterial isolates and tried to classify them on the basis of the fermented products they produced. This method was suggested for the differentiation of the bacterial isolates which produced a color reaction and those did not. So the main approach or the main aim towards the finding of this test was to differentiate the bacteria which produced color reaction and those that did not produce color reaction. And the Vegas Prosker test is always done in conjunction with the methyl red test as they are done in the MRVP broth and always they are together soon after we completed the MR test we will be doing the Vogus Prosker test so along with this two the intol and citrate test comes together to form a series of tests known as Invic test which is commonly used in the identification and differentiation of enterobacteriaceae now we move to the objective Vogus Prosker test determines the capability of the microorganisms produce the non acidic or neutral end products non acidic or neutral end products means they will be having a ph of near 6.2 to 7 like there will be nearly 7 such as acetyl methyl carbinol or the so called acetoin from organic acids that result from glucose metabolism actually the glucose will be broken down to pyruvic acid the pyruvic acid will be broken down to further end products via many phases or my many type of fermentative reactions it can form 2,3 butane diols or it can form succinic acid, lactic acid, acetic acid, other acids. Sometimes it also forms acetyl methyl carbinol or the so called acetoin. So we are testing whether acetoin is formed or not. This test differentiates among the enteric organisms such as E. coli, Enterobacter aerogenes and Klebsiella pneumoniae. So now we are directly moving to the procedure. So inoculate the test organism from the colony into the MRVP broth. Actually for the methyl red test and Vogus Prosker test we are using the same media. It is known as MRVP broth. Actually the MRVP broth contains buffered peptone that is 7 gram per liter, dextrose dipotassium phosphate and the pH will be 6.9 plus or minus 0. Point. So that they are adjusting the pH towards the neutral side. So that any small changes will be resisted by the buffer. And if at all there is a large change, it will be detected by the indicator. So in buffered peptone, there is a guanidine group present. You have to remember that you have, there is a guanidine present, guanidine group present there. Then Incubate the tube for 24 or 48 hours at 37 degrees Celsius in incubator. In western countries, mostly for accuracy, they do 48 hours. Then, in India, normally we do 24 hours test and it depends on the test and it depends on the purpose of test. After 24 hours, add 10 drops of Barrett's reagent A. Barrett's reagent A is 1% alpha naphthol solution or it is also known as Vegas Prosker reagent 1 or VP1 and also add 10 drops of Barrett's reagent B it is actually 40% KOH KOH actually is a color intensifier if at all any color is happening there it will be intensified and it will be very easy for us to recognize the color so why are we adding Barrett's reagent A and Barrett's reagent B? We will be dealing the mechanism next. Now shake gently and aerate the tubes. We have to shake it gently and aerate the tubes. So there will be small bubble comes in, coming in the upper layer. Now wait for 15 to 30 minutes. Actually, 15 to 13 minutes. If at all any color reaction have to be produced, that will have to be produced in the 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah. Positive result means red color or cherry red color appearance. It is known as Vogel's Proskar positive. The example are Sarashia marsasans, Endrobacter aerogenes, 
club shell and ammonia, club shell and oxygen. Okay. Now, we go into the mechanism. Actually, the bacteria fermenting sugars via butane diol. We have discussed the butane diol mechanisms and other factors in MR test. Pathway produce acetoin. They produce acetoin, acetyl, methyl, carbinol, which result in the decreased acidity. Means they are not acidic, they are neutral end product. So, acidity will be decreased. That means pH will be increased and they raise above 6.5. MR and VP are physiologically related as they are using the same broth and almost they are detecting the chemical component of same texture and same pH. Now, bacteria fermenting sugars via butane diol pathway produce acetoin as an intermediate which can be further reduced to 2,3-butane diol. Now, see, the pyruvate will be converted into acetoin and carbon dioxide. Acetoin will react with NADH. NADH and other things are present in the broth itself from 2,3-butane diol and NAD. In the presence of KOH, which is 40% KOH is Barrett's reagent B or VP2, Bogus Prosker's second reagent. Now, in the presence of KOH, Intermediate acetoin is oxidized to diacetyl, diacetyl, which is catalyzed by alpha naphthol. That is, Barrett's reagent A catalyzes the conversion of acetoin to diacetyl. Now, the diacetyl groups reacts with guanidine of pepton broth to form cherry red colored product. Actually, the positive result of cherry red colored product is due to the reaction of diacetyl and guanidine group of pepton broth and this terry red color is intensified by Barrett's reagent B or alpha naphthol also intensifies the color. KOH also intensifies the color, alpha naphthol also intensifies the color. So actually this is the mechanism of the red color production. Thank you.